morning beautiful people it's an absolutely glorious fresh spring morning the sun is rising just over here the birds are singing my shoes are wet with the morning dew and that the air there's something about the air at dawn ah it's just probably one of the greatest smells in the world and that smell that fresh smell of the dawn brings with it a kind of sense of connection to the natural world so talking about connection today i thought we'd celebrate everything to do with cleavers so cleavers is a plant known by many names some people call it goose grass others call it cleavers sticky willy we all know it well because not because of its random nicknames that it's got all around the world but because this plant wherever it grows it doesn't just bring food and medicine but it also brings a lot of fun and joy too because sticking goose grass cleavers to someone's unsuspecting back will forever be absolutely hilarious now cleavers is classed as a noxious weed but once again there's no such thing as a weed because did you know this plant this incredible little flower is actually a herb it's completely edible and it's medicinal too you can eat it straight from the hedge or you can put it in soups and stews and things like that. Traditionally throughout time, it's been known as kind of a bulk vegetable because it's completely non-toxic, so you can consume a lot of it. So people really fill up them spring soups and stews and stir fries with it. Goose grass is an incredible plant. So, Cleaver's scientific name is Gallium aperime, and it's a part of the Rubiaceae family. And do you know what family that is? The famous coffee family. Now, this plant is related to the coffee, and you might have noticed sometimes when you're walking through the woods or the forests or just down some little alleyways that the little sticky balls of the goose grass get stuck to you. Now, these little sticky balls are actually the seed of the goose grass, and that's how this magnificent little plant. It's able to multiply and spread around and become so abundant all around us because it latches onto our clothes. Now that's where it actually gets its name from, cleavers, because it cleaves to our clothes. Now, them seeds, they're not only just amazing because they allow a plant to just multiply and spread throughout the fields. They're amazing because if you dry them up and roast them, you can actually make them into an alternative coffee. Goose grass coffee. It's really delicious and it's debatable to whether it is decaffeinated or contains a little bit of caffeine. I've read contradicting things in multiple books, but either way, it makes a really nice coffee alternative kind of like dandelion root coffee which is very nice now talking about roots goose grass cleavers whatever you like to call it its roots actually make a seriously strong permanent red dye would you believe it now this dye is so strong that if birds eat it it actually dyes their bones red how crazy is that now dye just like food and medicine, you can find it growing all around us. You can find all the colors of the rainbow if you just know where to look. The roots of stinger nettle make yellow dye, cleavers makes red dye, and onion skin makes a beautiful shade of the yellowy orange. So when you get out, if you want to try some cleavers, the first thing we should do is learn that we've got the right plant. Let's learn how to correctly identify cleavers. So. This little plant, if you look closely, its stem is actually square. And a lot of the times you'll see the red lines running up. That's the red dye, which is mainly in the roots. Now, when you look really closely at the stem, you'll see that it's fuzzy. And this is what enables the plant to latch onto things and climb. If goose grass 
has the right plant next to it to climb, it can actually grow up to six feet tall. Then of course, you've got the fuzzy little ball seeds that allow the plant to spread around and multiply and also make a delicious coffee alternative. And then sometimes you might notice that it has tiny little white four petaled flowers. Now it doesn't always have these, but it tends to have flowers blooming in the spring and summer. Then of course, the last thing is it sticks to you. So if it ticks all them boxes, then you have cleavers. Now Clevis grows abundantly pretty much throughout the entire world and you'll find it growing really really well in spring and summertime. Now you can eat this wild edible raw, you just simply pop off the top because that's the sweetest part, check it for bugs, and then you can eat it. Now it's definitely not the best tasting wild edible in the world, God, I'll probably give that a 3 out of 10 but it's extremely good for you. And traditionally, it's used as a spring tonic, as a way of cleansing out all the toxins that have built up through the winter time, giving your body a good spring clean, if you will. Now, to get the goodness from goose grass, you can pack it all into a bottle of water and leave that over tonight to infuse and then drink it the next day. You can put it in stews and soups and things like that. When you cook it, it's much nicer and it, it whittles down and gets all soft and and it's much nicer and of course you can make a traditional herbal tea so I'm just going to collect the tops of a few of these cleavers that I've got roughly the equivalent of say two teaspoons and then pretty much eating all the tops it's about seven o'clock in the morning and I've not had breakfast so this is my morning tea pop that in your glass Whoop. add your hot water good morning train and that's it you just let that stew for about 10 minutes and you've got yourself a health boosting spring tonic goose grass tea now you can stew it for 10 minutes because you can really squish it and get all that goodness out I'm going to give it a good squish in World War II the children was actually paid to not only go out and collect rose hips but things like goose grass too and they used the pharmaceutical companies used goose grass to make medicine to help treat things like fevers, stuff like that. Oh, tastes healthy. <laughs> Cleansing. In the world of herbalism, in the traditional world of herbalism, cleavers by the Native Americans was used to promote kidney health, whereas in traditional Chinese medicine, it was used to cleanse toxins and poisons from the body. Now in the world of modern herbalism it turns out that our ancestors were completely right because cleavers helps to clean and flush toxins out the body. Because cleavers has been found that it can really improve the health of the lymphatic system within the body and this helps us cleanse toxins and poisons and inflammation from our body and it's also a diuretic so these two things combined make it a really good way to detox and flush and cleanse our body from all the unhealthy habits that we've built up during the winter it really is a brilliant springtime herb And now for my favourite part of the videos, the history, mythology and folklore of the cleavers. You might know cleavers as bed straw. That's also one of its many nicknames. Now it has the nickname bed straw because throughout history cleavers has been a really good plant used to pack mattresses and make beds nice and soft and comfortable. And it's even said the Virgin Mary made Jesus' bed with cleavers. Ooh. Now, 
farmers used to use cleavers as a way of filtering all their hair and muck from milk. They'd scrunch cleavers all together and pour the milk through it. And this would just clear out all the hairs and all the bits of debris that would be in the milk. Now, they also believed that doing this would infuse the milk with all the health boosting properties of cleavers. And in some places in Sweden, they still do this today. How cool is that? Now, a thing I find absolutely fascinating about cleavers is because in the many ancient herbal books that you can find knocking around, all these really, really old ancient herbal books say cleavers is really good for expelling poison from the body. And they was actually completely correct because now in the modern world of herbalism where we're able to prove the properties of plants, we can see that it improves the health of the lymphatic system, which is a way of expelling poison from the body. It just blows my mind. How did they know this? Now, another thing in folklore they believe is that if you drink cleaver's water three times a day, for nine weeks, it's a very specific number, then you'll become so beautiful, literally everyone will fall in love with you. So cheers to that. And the symbolism of cleavers, goose grass, bed straw, whatever you want to call it, the symbolism is of course connection. And we can all use cleavers as a way for all of us to further our connection with the great outdoors by getting out there, harvesting some of this abundant, beautiful plant that isn't a noxious weed, it's a medicinal, nutritional, edible herb. Anyway guys, as always, it's been a pleasure and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.